So if you've been recently thinking about using an SSD drive as your external hard drive with an enclosure, uh, this video is my attempt at it. Um, I will be using it on Windows 10 for video work. And uh, I recently went on Amazon and bought a Samsung 970 EVO Plus NVMe M.2 SSD PCIe and a Ugreen M.2 NVMe SSD PCIe enclosure. When I return, I'll, I'll show you what it looks like unpackaged. So what you see in front of you is a Samsung SSD. There's a, if you've never seen one before, this is an M.2, this is a 2280, I believe. So on the right hand side, there's the uh, pin side. And on the left, there's the um, screw side, which, which in this case, it will be just a rubber stopper. Now you notice there's a label on it. Do not remove the label. The heat sink, so the silicone heat sink will go right on top. And moving on to the U-Green enclosure, there's a, they're all different, but this one is just a push open. And there's a pin side on the left and a rubber stopper on the right. It comes with a silicone heat sink, an extra rubber stopper, a USB A to C, and a USB C to C. And then again, when we return, I'll, um, I'll show you how to install it. And then afterwards, we'll go to the computer and install it on a Windows 11 laptop. Okay, so let's take the SSD out. And just put it into the enclosure. Click it in kind of slides in like that at a 30 degree angle and I find it easier to just put the plastic tab on the outside oops and then kind of just click it in there like that And then we'll take the silicone heat sink and we'll put it on top. And remove the plastic strip. and put it back in the enclosure. And that's it. Next, we'll go to the computer, the laptop on Windows 11 and install it. So here we are at Windows 11. You'll notice on the left hand side that there's no USB drive showing. But if you go down to the up arrow key there on, on the hidden icons, you'll see that there's a U Green storage drive. So what we need to do is initialize that hard drive so we can use it to work. So we go into the search search tray, 
create and format hard disk. Oh, and it, and it pulls it up for you. There's an initialized disk. It says you must initialize a disk before the logical disk manager can access it. So the system knows that there's a disk there that, that it's, that's required. Um, it's disk one. We'll notice that, that it's the master boot record. There's a, the choices are master boot record or GBT. I believe the master boot record is for drives less than two terabytes. And GPT is for greater than two terabytes. I'm just going to leave it as it is because it's all the GPT is not recognized by all previous versions of Windows. So I'm just going to leave it as GPT. I don't have previous uh, Windows on on my systems. I'm just going to hit OK. And it says disk one, 1,863 gigabyte, gigabytes unallocated. So what you want to do is right click on that, hit new simple volume, click on new simple volume, and it says create to continue. We'll do that. Um, choose a volume size. So we'll, that's fine. We'll, we'll hit next. Assign a drive letter. You could pick anyone here. You could, you could, it, it, as long as you don't pick um, any other ones like C. So you pick something that's lower down in the, uh, Hierarchy, let's go to H. And we can hit next. And this file system is NTFS. And there's also XFAT. Let's leave it NTFS. Um, unit size default, volume label. We can name it something else. I think I prefer to use, let's see, um, let's say Samsung 970 SSD. Let's put um, external here too. And hit next. And finish. And that's done. So there it is. If you if you click on it, it's all done. So there's the external SSD hard drive. So there, there you go. You can do it yourself. Thanks. Bye.